you're living in is the world of your word. What is the word you have allowed to be rehearsed upon your lips? Um, are you day by day getting up, um, speaking um, the words of condemnation, doubt, fear, um, hopelessness? Um, do you see evil before you see good? Do you see disaster before you see you being successful? What are you seeing and what are you proclaiming? Because whatever, once it leaves your mouth, it must take on an energetic form at some point. It must become crystallized because you know what? Until you cancel it, it must continue like an autumn and speak into your life after its kind. I know this. When it begins to speak, you won't remember, but the word, seeing that it already has a DNA of remembrance, it will speak after your own proclamation. And so the world you're in is a world after your kind. And to each, you can have everything after your own kind. Re bring to remembrance about how God brought to um, Adam in the garden to see what he would call them. There's some experiences in your life that God have allowed to see what you would call it. And if you call it the devil, oh my goodness, guess what? The devil must show up and materialize in your life. Prophet Cynthia. Well, you know, that's good, Prophet Thompson. I'm just kind of glancing at the book too. Um, a couple of comments from here. It says, you buy poverty with your consciousness just as you buy wealth with consciousness. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same energy of your mind. You just choose what you're going to focus on. Yeah, I choose wealth. I don't know about on. you. Mm -hmm. But it also says even sickness does not come free. You have to buy it. Mm. Disaster and accidents do not come mm. free. And you know, not cutting you, oh, no, but as ahead. you get on that thought, mm -hmm. you know, as you know, two, uh, roughly around two years ago, I had an encounter. Yes, yes. And, and, and I was working it through my head. I said, Lord, how this came about. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it brings back to mind, I was thinking about something that was, uh, I'd allow my mind to straight over a fence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to call up something that I knew was very functional in around my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'd given it too much thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You gave it attention of your mind. Yeah, I gave it the attention of my mind. And bought it. And so once mm. I recognized that, Jesus. I start purchasing on the stock exchange of my mind All a right. new thought principle. Wow. <laughs> and you know what? Just the awareness of knowing, you know, some people aren't mature enough to understand that they bought it. They're not mature enough to understand that they purchased. They thought the devil did it to them, mm. but someone else caused it to happen. And that's what I love about this teaching. You know, you have to take ownership for the stuff that shows up in your life. Yes. You have to, and you know, it's a good thing. Because once you realize you did it, then you know what? You can undo it. Just mm -hmm. like Prophet Thompson said. He realized he gave something too much attention. Mm -hmm. And what he did, he turned that thing. First, he had to stop and say, how did I purchase this? Mm -hmm. and he, he took ownership. How did I bring this to myself? Right. And once he thought about that and figured out what he did, then he turned that thing and his whole life began to change and it took a different path. Mm -hmm. He brought himself out of a situation that he put himself in. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people don't, they never get to that point because they don't own it. They think somebody did it to them or, you know, people don't like me <laughs> or, oh, why is this happening to me? And never take ownership so they can take control and begin to turn it around. Wow. Wow. That is powerful. Prophetess Jordan, what do you want to say? Um, mm -hmm. Prophetess Cynthia, you know what came to my mind when you said that? Um, Paul tell us when those thoughts come, we have to cast them down. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what he had to do. He knew he had that thought where it came from. Mm -hmm. He said, now I'm going to cast this thing down and I'm going to get another thought. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. So yes. he had to get another thought to bring him out of what he was, had um, got himself in from his thinking. So he had to get another mm. thought to bring him down. Jeez. So that means we don't accept every thought that come in there our mind. Go. There you go. Mm. <laughs> my, my, my. I love it. Yes. You know, it is. It's about the renewing of the mind. Um, and taking ownership for what comes. That's what the Master Prophet always teaches. And so, you know, we can never be victims because we're, whatever came, we bought it. Mm -hmm. So how can we be a victim? We ordered it. Nobody did. A victim is almost like somebody did something to you. Mm -hmm. Well, that really is never the case. You do it to yourself through thought. Mm -hmm. And that's not a bad thing because once you, once you own that and understand it, now you begin to think the new thoughts that will take it away and bring something. You just buy something else. Prophet Thompson just decided it showed up. He owned it, he bought it, he kicked it away and purchased something else. And that became his new reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oh. you know, you have to definitely make a choice mm -hmm. to have your own Norton 360. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Talk so, about that Norton 360. Everybody may not get that. You know, you have to have a, a, a viral defense. Yes. <laughs> and that when something starts to invade the scope of the divine programming, mm -hmm. you have to have that which can block it and put it in check. Wow. Mm. That's powerful. You know what I thought Indeed. about when you said that? Um, something that uh, Les Brown said when he was here. He talked about cosmic economics being the weapon of mass destruction mm. for negative <laughs> thoughts. I loved it. Wow. And that's basically you're saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would annihilate them because you have to have a new thought. And that's what cosmic economics teaches you. Mm -hmm. You know, Prophetess Cade, and we're going to swing back around and get to this. Why should they sow the seed, that 197, towards the 1297 pledge? Because it's going to change their lives for the better, Prophetess Cynthia. The beautiful thing, one of the beautiful things, there are many beautiful things about the Cosmic Economic Series, but one of the beautiful things is the website that you heard Prophetess Cynthia uh, and the other company of prophets talking about earlier. See, what, what we do is the Master Prophet doesn't give us anything or doesn't dis, uh, uh, introduce us to anything that he hasn't tried and proved for himself and it's working therefore he's wanting all of us to participate in it i love the fact that you can sow that 197 seed and you can go to the website and you can get the passcode and you can see what's happening in real time as prophet cynthia said you can see the butler you can see the lifestyle you can see how many people do you know are actually going to hold your hand and say here take this it works it's working for me and i want it to work for you I don't know of many people. They want to hoard the information to themselves, but not the master prophet. He's giving it and making it available to everyone today so that we can have the same consciousness that we can think our way right into having our own butler. You can think your way right into having your own business. You can think your way into your own prosperity, health, wealth, and well-being. That's exciting to me, and I'm excited about it, and I want you to get excited about it, too. Call the number today, 212-316-2177, and let them know. I have my 197 to put towards my cosmic economics. The principles that the prophets that we're sharing here tonight are mind-blowing. Because you know what, 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 like with Prophet Thompson, when he thought the thought and he was able to unthinking, how about, unthink it? How about this? If something's not showing up in your life, that's probably because you're not thinking the right thoughts. Mm. Mm, yeah. So if you don't have it, you have to question yourself and ask yourself, why don't I have it? Well, the master prophet of making the tools available to you today to get you out of your situation and into the place called there where God destined for you to be. Call the number now, 212-316-2177, and let the operator know, I need cosmic economics. I want to put my 197 down on it right now. Then I want to do my 497, or you may want to do the whole 1297 right now because you want to get your hands on it. I'm telling you, we can't keep enough. I'm there in shipping. We can't keep enough. Call the number now, 212-316-2177. Prophetess Cynthia. Thank you, Prophetess Kay. Call right now. You don't want to miss this opportunity. You know, we had Prophetess Naomi Jordan up here uh, a little bit ago. She was talking about even some of the enhancements that were going to come on that Cosmic Economics website. She was talking about a live feed that would be there. You know, we're looking at the video clips uh, from the Master Prophet, but eventually there's going to be live feeds coming uh, right there. You'll be following the Master Prophet real time. Uh, she talked about some other sites and things that we developed where you can get your prophecies. I mean, this thing is blowing up big, and this is your opportunity to participate right now with that 197 c that is your down payment towards your 1297 pledge that will give you access to that cosmic economic site. I was watching the Master Prophet today, got introduced to his butler, watching him on the ship, and I, it was just powerful to be able to see all that information. Well, we're in the Cosmic Economics book right now. You know, the last thought that we were kind of uh, pondering on was principle number 38, which says the world you live in is the world that you have created. And I know mm -hmm. the prophets, I felt them. We weren't done with that. Yeah. <laughs> the prophets, I still felt them. So I'm just going to open up to the prophets if you want to make some more comments on that. Yes, Prophet Cynthia, you know, because everything that ever happens to us comes from us. That's and one right. of the things that I realized is that she was talking about casting down. Mm -hmm. You know, I flipped it and looked, I looked and says, you know, for, for us to cast down something, that means we, have, we, we are the one who had cast it up. We have mm -hmm. put it in the heavens and we have put it in the heaved up place. Mm -hmm. And so it formed and manifested. Uh, so for, as it is in the heaven, guess what? So is it in the earth. So That's you right. see, you are the creator of your own detriment. And so we have the ability with the God in us 
to reverse that curse right. and come into the blessing mode. 